Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how you do it. I do. Yep. Get your hands in there and just spread it all over. Oh. Yeah. Seems we want all the little pieces and parts covered. Okay. Great job. The part of Dude's Kitchen is getting messy. <laughs> Go ahead and flip them. We've already taken the silver skin off. So we're going to use some Uncle Steve's competition pig shake for these. Both of these. Mm -hmm. This is not spicy, Aiden, so you'll like it. Go ahead and rub that shake in there. Rub it in good. Okay, do it on both. Do it on the next one. All right, go ahead and flip them. Oh yeah. Whoa, I got quite a lot on that one. All right, go ahead and rub that in really good. Yeah, okay, good job. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is I'm going to wrap one of these in a beer can. And for this, we're just using Bud Light. And the next one, we're going to do water, and I'm just using LaCroix or LaCroche, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to wrap it. All right, let's start. This feels so weird. <laughs> I'm going to take this Bud Light can and just kind of poke some holes in it. I know it's already open at the top. That's cool. Aiden, I've got some string here. We've got some butcher string, and I'm going to need you to cut it about right there for me. There we go. <laughs> Put our beer can in the center. Wrap that big old rib around it. Look at that. <laughs> what the heck? I know, isn't that crazy? Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna tie a standard crappy knot in it. <laughs> <laughs> About to. Perfect, look, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Take this LaCroche water. Now, Come back here and tie a little, another little crappy knot. Okay, guys, this is the best part. This, hey guys, this is the best part. We are going to put it in the grill. Woo! <laughs> All right, the pellet grill's up to temp. It's time to put the ribs down. The first one we're doing is our water. The second one we're doing is our beer. All right, well, Aiden and I are back in the lounge area. We're just waiting for 45 minutes to an hour to see how our ribs are, and we'll see you then. Well, it's been 45 minutes. Let's give these a check. So far, so good. We're going to crank the heat up to 225, give it another 45 minutes, and then uh, check it out again. Another 45 minutes is down. It's time to check these out. Looking good so far. Mmm. Tastes good too. I'm going to spray these down with an apple cider water mixture and we're going to give it another 45 minutes and I think it's time to wrap them. Time to wrap these things but I'm going to take them off first. What's kind of cool is you can already see it starting to pull back from the bone but it's kind of funky looking if you think about it. We do got water dripping out of the bottom so I think it's keeping it hydrated. Put a piece of tin foil down like that Put our water one back in first. Just give it a good wrap. Here one down. There you go, in 45 minutes, we will check them out again. Well folks, we're into this cook about two and a half hours. We're still running at about two and a quarter. So hopefully here in about 45 minutes, they'll be ready to, to come off in that last half an hour or so of just cooking naked. One of the things I did notice is the meat is starting to pull back from the ribs. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. This is just totally funky to me. But I will say, can you smell the ribs? Yeah. They smell good, don't they? Yeah. All right, so we're getting there. Aiden, what are you looking forward to when it comes to these ribs? I'm looking forward to them, them good and squishy, and I want them I'm going to be so juicy on the inside. There you go, juicy on the inside. Mm. All right, well, like I said, another 45 minutes. 
and then we're going to unwrap them, cook them for, an, for another 30, and we'll go from there. All right, delicious, we'll see you in a bit. Delicious taste. Delicious mm. taste. All right. Well, another 45 minutes are up. Looking good. I'm going to cut the strings on this. Kind of see where we're at. Doesn't look too bad. Nice and juicy. All right, so this is the one with our beer. This is the one with water. We're going to give these another 30 minutes, and then I think it's time to pull them. Another 30 minutes are down. Time to take the ribs off. Looking pretty good, actually. I think they're looking pretty good. That was our water one. That's the beer one. Let's give them a few moments to rest. It's Zoe Cam. Is it Zoe Cam? Oh, it's Zoe Cam. Want your nose honk? Zoe, you want her nose honk? Honk. Well, what do you think? Honk. No nose honking for the Yule. So this is our beer one, and that's the water. And I'm going to start with the beer one. I'm just going to cut it in half. It looks good on the bottom, and I'll tell you what, these things are juicy. Holy moly, they're juicy. Same with our water one, and it looks great inside. Aiden's going to get just the one with the water. And I'll cut him off another one. Going to use a little of our barbecue sauce we got. Put it off the side. Well, Aiden, what do you think? It's awesome. Awesome. Well, I'm going to try the one that is wa uh, the water, like you're having. That's really good. You said it was a bit spicy? The Uncle, that's the Uncle Steve's shake on it. It's really good though. So what do you think about juiciness? Mm. Is it juicy? Mm -hmm. Very. Let's try it with some of our sauce. Mm. I like it without the sauce. Alright, I'm going to try the one with the beer. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't notice a difference whatsoever. Well, I found them to be both just the same when it comes to, you call it spicy, but that's just the flavoring. What I notice is how juicy they are. Extremely juicy, which I think makes them great. So, here's the deal, folks. If you want a juicy rib, we're talking seriously juicy rib, I would do this route whether it be beer or water, whatever you want to put in there, wrap it around. I, I don't notice a difference in flavor between beer or water. Aiden, of course, just had the water. That Uncle Steve's shake on there is so much better than adding the barbecue sauce, in my opinion. All right, there you have it from both of us. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell for notifications. Thank you everybody for watching. And if you subscribe, then your mouth will feel juice. <laughs> there you go. Special thanks to Patty Style Productions for editing this video. Patrick does an amazing job. And if you're looking some, for somebody to edit your video, I highly recommend him. I'll put his link down below. We'll talk to you later. You just watched the Dude's Kitchen and Grills. Great beer can versus water can rib te test. No difference in my opinion. We'll talk to you later, guys. Remember the dude abides this time with ribs and his grandson. Bye. Mm. Say goodbye. Bye. Make sure to be delicious. <laughs>
Uh, make it shoot cannons and make a. Oh, hey, I like that idea. Shoot cannons out of that can. <laughs> That's a great idea. Well, one last thing, Aiden. Tell the tell the people what do you think? <clears throat> it's good and awesome. If you want to do this, try a watering can. A watering can. Oh, there you go. It's poured <laughs> over, right? Make sure to see to get that. There's even going to be a rainbow. A rainbow underwear. All right. Juicy, delicious taste, and floss. <laughs> all right, Aiden, what do you think about smoking with Grandpa? Good. Good, all right on. It's not the kind of smoking with Grandpa that we did as kids. This is a cooking smoking with Grandpa. The underwear is going to be hilarious. you got to get the underwear first. Get, get the underwear first. Aiden, you have a special announcement. What are we doing for the dude's kitchen? Making what? I don't know, but um, it, let's just find out. Or maybe we should put some Mentos in Coca-Cola in there and then it'll, it'll just blo and then the meat will just blast off. I love it. That would be cool, dude. I know. Yeah.